Hello everybody and welcome back. It is now March and I want to quickly announce the winners of the contest first. Um, the I wrote them down this time. Uh, the winner of the Africa bracelet, I Dream of Africa, was April T. And the winner of the Pyrite Stone, here it is, is Alex Hernandez. And the winner of the Compass Stone, uh, the Compass Bracelet, is Trudy Ta Truly Taylor. Truly Taylor. Okay, um, so those are the people who won the contest. And you know, so many people um, commented and said nice things. I really wish that I could give one to everybody. And if I could afford to mail it out, I would. Um, I would totally love to make something for each and every one of you. I just uh, don't have the money to mail everything. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy the bracelets and the stone if you're a winner. And if you are not, then I'll try to keep doing these. Um, maybe not every month because I have to mail everything, um, but uh, as often as I can, okay? Because I really appreciate all of you who watch the videos. Okay, so here we go. Okay, okay Taurus, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Taurus, you are my last one for the day. My last reading for the day. I'm very excited to see what's coming for you, Taurus. <laughs> How many? What is this? Oh, okay, okay. Mm hmm. That's. I just had an argument with the Taurus about this about five minutes ago. Money, 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 money. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's the first one. Okay, Taurus. Here we go. You have the Queen of Cups. Excellent. You have the Nine of, oh, Ten of Wands in reverse. You have the Strength card. You have the Two of Cups. Good. The Hermit. And the Ace of Pentacles is your obstacle, and this is your outcome. The Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. And this is the stuff that's hidden from you. So, your first, your first card is the Four of Pentacles, and this is about you feeling insecure about your money and feeling like you don't have enough, but you actually do. Feeling like, oh my gosh, I gotta make sure I don't spend a single dime because I'm afraid of what's gonna happen in the future. That's what's happening with you right now. So, um, the thing about this card is, it's a twofer, because on the one hand, it's telling you, you do have enough, so you don't need to worry. And on the other hand, it's telling you, let go and don't be so stingy with your money. And the reason it's telling you this is because if you hold on to your money and you say, oh my gosh, I don't have any money, then the next thing you know, that's what the universe gives you. You start getting bills, you start realizing you don't have money and, and freaking out and getting stressed, and then all of a sudden you start um, not buying anything and then you start being miserable because you think I don't have any money so I can't buy anything. And then what happens is it just snowballs. So if you feel like you don't have enough money, the, thing, the number one thing you should do is first of all, look at other people who have way less than you uh, because that will make you feel better about your situation and say, oh my gosh, it's not, it's not that bad. I don't need to panic. Secondly, what you need to do is let some of it go. Buy something. Even if it's not that expensive, just buy something small just to make yourself feel like, and when you buy it, don't say, oh my gosh, this is like another piece of money going. Say, I have enough. And keep telling yourself, I have more than enough. I have more than enough. Okay? Because that way you tell the universe you have enough money, then more comes to you. If you tell the universe, I'm broke, then pretty soon that's what you'll be. Okay? What you put out there is what comes back. What, what you, the thoughts you put out is what, you, what ends up being your reality, okay? I know it's hard to believe that, but if you had a bad day and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse, you'd believe me because you'd say, oh, it started bad, I thought it was bad, and it got worse and worse and worse. Same thing happens when you think something gets better. If you think, oh, this is great, I'm having a great day, I'm having a great time, then more good stuff happens to you, okay? If you're holding your money really tight, what's going to happen is you're just going to start to worry and stress and then you're going to start freaking out about money and you're going to end up getting way more bills. Every time I think to myself, uh-oh, I better watch my money, then pretty soon my whole bank account just goes whoosh, down. And every time I think, I've got lots of money, I'm so excited and so happy, then stuff comes to me in the mail that I wasn't even expecting. So it actually does work. Now, over here you have the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is about telling people how you feel, being honest with people, and being being comforting to other people. The Queen of Cups takes care of people. She gives out compliments to people. She gives out um, con consolation to people. She comforts people because she gives out cups of good emotions, okay? She's also very creative. If you have any big creative projects you want to do, this is a good month for it because she is really good at expressing herself creatively, Okay? Now, over here you have the Ten of Wands in reverse, and this is a great card in reverse. When it's like this, it's saying you're, you're, you're carrying a heavy burden, and you have to pull this giant 
brick and make a pyramid with it, okay? When it's in reverse, it's saying that you can start letting some of that go. You can start giving up some of the things that are burdening you, okay? Start giving up some of the projects that you don't really care about. Start giving up some of the work. Start completing some of the work. So this is a great time for you to complete something, okay? And just let it go. In the middle of your month, you have strength. And I think the strength is because of the fact that you're almost finished something. You're almost completing something. And then when you're done this thing, this is kind of a burden that you don't really want to do. And when you're done, you're gonna do something that you really do wanna do, okay? This, is, this could be about you starting a project that you really care about, that you're really um, a creative thing that you really like to do, whereas this does not look fun. <laughs> this looks like something that's really, a, I just, you just wanna dump this thing because you're done with it, okay? And you will be dumping it. So you have the strength, you're gonna have the strength to finish this project and then move on to something you care about. Over here, you have the Two of Cups, which is wonderful for relationships, getting along well with somebody, feeling really connected to somebody, okay? And sometimes relationships can feel like this too. It's like a burden that you're just dragging it, dragging that rock, okay? This is about you enjoying the relationship, having a good, a good phase in your relationship. Over here, you have the Hermit. And it's interesting too that you have this thing where you're getting along with somebody, but you're also going off by yourself. So I, I think if you're actually, if you're working too hard, you might need to go off by yourself and just say, uh, I'm, I'm going to take some time by myself, de-stress, and then hang out with my partner because that way I won't be uh, bringing my burdens into the relationship, okay? Sometimes you need to go off by yourself and just spend a little bit of time doing something you love so that you can be a better partner, so that you're not... Uh, um, Taking your, taking your anger out on somebody, taking your stress out on somebody. And also, when you feel happy, other people want to be around you. So it might be time for you to go off and do something that you really like to do by yourself. Some kind of creative thing that makes you, you know, rejuvenates you so you can rejuvenate the relationship. Your obstacle is the Ace of Pentacles. This is about you wanting money from the universe and saying, I want to get I want to get a gift from the universe. I want to get money because I'm so worried about this. But with the four of pentacles, if you didn't have enough, you'd be getting the five of pentacles, okay? You're not getting that. You're getting the four of pentacles, which means you do have enough. You just are worrying for nothing, okay? Now, over here you have, in reverse, the six of cups. Now, when it's like this, it's talking about nostalgia. It's saying this is time to go back to your childhood. This is time to relive your childhood. This is time to go back to beginning phases of your relationship. But it's not saying that. It's in reverse, so what that's saying is you, you need to grow up. You need to grow up to the point, and it's not a bad way, it's in a good way. You need to, to, to grow up and be more mature in your relationship or you need to grow up and be more, um, uh, let go of some of the stuff from, from your past that's hurt you. Let go of some of the old patterns in relationships that you don't need anymore. Let go of some of this stuff and, and the idea that you need to work so hard, okay? This is saying for you to grow up and enjoy the, the parts of adulthood that you really wanted when you were a kid and say, oh, I, I can't wait to be an adult because then I can do this and I can do that. And then you become an adult and you just end up working. That's not what you wanted to do when you, when you wanted to be an adult. What were the, some of the things that you really wanted to do when you became an adult? Spend time with a partner, do massive creative projects, uh, spend money. All the stuff that you wanted to do that adults can do that kids can't do, those are some of the things that you should be doing, okay? Have some fun. This is about letting go of the past and, and doing new stuff, okay? Growing up and doing stuff that's, that's fun as an adult, okay? Uh, and I don't, it, I don't think it's working hard as an adult. I don't think it's taking more responsibility as an adult because you're letting go of the brick. I think it's have fun as an adult. What do adults get to do that's fun? <laughs> You know what? But I'm saying not that. I'm saying like, what do you get to do as an adult? There's lots of things you can do. You can go out at night, go out to a movie at night. You know, go to go and have an adventure in a car. You can go on a road trip. Those are all things that kids can't do. They can't just go out in a car and go on a road trip. All right, here we have these are things that are hidden from you. The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is about a competition. Everybody's got their own opinion here. Um, in this case, they're bugging the hippo. Okay, all these people have their own wands and they're trying to convince the hippo of something or they're trying to get the hippo's attention. And the hippo says, if you keep poking me with those sticks, I'm just going to snap them off. I'm going to bite them off. Okay, so you might have somebody in your life that you're trying to get their attention. You're trying to convince them of something. And this is saying it's not going to happen. You got your own opinion. You're not going to be able to convince them. You're not going to be able to go on, you know, 
the internet and convince somebody to change their philosophy to be like you, okay? That's not gonna happen, all right? And this is also about wasting time too. Look at all these people saying, this is my opinion, this is my opinion. And look at the hippo, he's like, I don't care. I'm just here to distract you and waste your time, okay? Next, you have the Princess of Pentacles, and this is about good news money-wise, okay? Look at that. So you've got your obstacle is where's the money, and here is good news about money, okay? So you're worried for nothing. Then over here, you have the last thing that you have is the King of Swords. This is about authority, okay? This could also be about authority giving you money. This could be about income taxes. This could be about a boss. This could be also be about a boss saying, I can't give you a raise right now. And you say, oh my gosh, then, I'm, then I don't have enough money. And then money comes anyway because you have good news money-wise, okay? Now, this is going to be your fate card. So with the authority there, they could be either granting or denying money, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to be fine either way. Look at this. Again, with the good news. Good news from afar, or actually just, just says news from afar. This says you're going to get news from afar. And this says good news money-wise. So you're definitely getting news about something and I think it's gonna be the money. All right, now next you have, and it might be the links to the authority with the, with the good news from afar. It could be that you're winning a competition, you're finally getting a loan, or somebody is just is, is giving you money in a will. Somebody is giving you money in some way because you've got the good news, you've got the news from afar, and then you've got authority. So someone could be telling you that you're gonna be getting money. Or they could be telling you that you have to pay something because you feel like, oh my gosh, I don't have enough money. So it's gonna have to do with that. Over here we have the risk, either getting or giving money. You got risk. Risk, taking chances, okay? Taking chances. So that might have to do with taking chances of letting go, some, letting go of some of the work so that you can have more time with your partner, taking chances and doing something creative and exciting, okay? Taking chances and doing something that you've never done as an adult, doing something that's, that makes you more grown up, like taking a new job or meeting a new partner, going on dates, things like that, okay? Taking a chance on something like that. Now, that's it for you, you got all your stuff. I just wanna say that you are um, beginning the month by worrying about, uh, about money, but you don't need to worry because you're gonna have good news money-wise and you also have enough. And over here, you have, your outcome is the Six of Cups in reverse, which is about letting go of old patterns and looking for new ones as an adult, okay? Having fun as a grown-up and have a wonderful month.